This is Jordan Walker from the St. Louis Cardinals, and you're listening to Jim on Base. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Base Show. We're here at Oracle Park with St. Louis Cardinals right fielder, Jordan Walker. And Jordan, it's good to meet you. Good to meet you as well, man. I like the chains, too. Oh, yeah. Everybody <laughs> says that. Yeah, my family and my friends, they're the ones who gave it to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're from Georgia, right? So did you grow up a big Braves fan? Or? Oh, yeah. um, I was a Braves fan, obviously, until I got drafted. Um, then I switched, uh, you know, who I was going for. Um, but, yeah, pretty much all my life I was in Atlanta cheering for the Braves. Okay. Who were your favorite players? Did you have any big names that yeah. stuck out? Or? Uh, I was hard group in the Chipper Jones area. So, I mean, I was third baseman growing up. So watching Chipper Jones, it was something special for sure. And I imagine, have you met him by being involved in baseball? I did. Um, I talked to him. I got to talk to him a few times. So it was pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And I saw you out here in uh, right field. We got a big wall out yeah, here. Absolutely. So were you kind of getting the game plan? Yeah. This is probably your first time here, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely first time here. I, I, I already like the stadium. It's super cool. I think that, that wall is super cool to look at. Not yeah. so fun to play off of, you know. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm kind of learning it. And it's really windy out here, too. Yeah, so yeah. it's definitely <laughs> getting a feeling for San Francisco. It's definitely going to be one of the tougher places to play off of. And congratulations on making the team. I imagine it's been a whirlwind the last month or so. Have the guys been razzing you at all? Or? Yeah, they, they have. Um, specifically Alec Burleson, but he, he was in my position last year, so I think he's just you know feeling good. But he's also been kind of like my mentor, the guy who takes me under his wing, makes sure I'm not doing anything wrong, making sure like I'm dressed accordingly based on the thing. So, you know, just all the house rules, he's really the guy who's gotten me you know right in the clubhouse. And I think I saw you guys maybe talking in the outfield yeah, yeah. Uh, or also with Willie McGee, right? Has he kind of taken you under his wing? Or? Yeah, yeah, and so, I mean, he, the ball player that he was, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no better way to learn, you know, learn from somebody who did it that, like, at such a great level. Um, and so, yeah, just kind of being new out there, he's really, you know, working me a little extra in the outfield and, and told me some things. And I'm, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable out there as I go along. And I think all right now it just takes us a little bit of time. And I see some. I see a jersey over there with your name on it. Are you getting the autograph down or? Uh, a little bit, man. I I'm still learning how to get it, you know, precise. But you know, it's a it's a good place to be. You know what I'm saying? It's a good place to be. I imagine the family have they come out and seen you or? They're actually coming out to our next series in LA. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited to see them. My brother actually just moved out to LA too. So I'm going to get to see him in his new apartment for the first time. So super excited, super excited. Do you get to stay with him or do you have to stay at the team hotel? Oh, I'm at the team hotel, but, you know, I, I, he probably doesn't want me to stay with him anyway. You know, he likes having his own space. But, you know, I'm just going to check it out, hang out there for a few hours and just probably get back at the hotel. Is he the older brother or what's the older, dynamic? Uh, okay. Older brother um, by two years. We're all two years apart. So oh, okay. older brother by two years, younger sister by two years. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Now, was he a good ball player? Or? Oh, yeah, he was phenomenal. He just didn't like it as much as I did. Um, he's more into film and uh, animation as well. So, I mean, some of the stuff he makes is unbelievable. Um, but, yeah, he was good at playing ball. He just didn't like it, you know, so he just kind of straight away stayed, from, stayed away from it. Well, it sounds like he's, is he in the film industry then, if he's in L.A. and everything? Yeah, so he's uh, working uh, with a company, and I, I can't disclose any other information about some of the stuff they're working on um, for film um, because it's, like, I think stuff that hasn't come out yet, so they're not allowed to talk about it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, super. he, he loves his job, I can tell, and I'm super excited for him because this is really what he wants to do. Well, it's been fun to talk some baseball with you. Just curious, though, who are you away from the game? Are you into music? What's kind of your escape? Oh, yeah, video games. Um, big 2K player. I play NBA 2K all the time um, for my, with my boys back home who are in college right now playing baseball. So, yeah, that's how we connect. And that's what I, If I'm not in the field, I'm playing 2K. Yeah. Well, Jordan, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for giving us some time. And uh, hopefully we have many years of rooting you on. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thank you so much.